The refreshed 2017 Mazda 3 is the best compact car for you if you like a little sauerkraut with your sushi. By that we mean an unlikely fusion of German driving precision and Japanese finesse. The Mazda 3 has it, and it's going to need all the resources it can muster given a suddenly more competitive landscape. So it gets updated styling, expanded safety features, and a little voodoo to improve the handling. It's quieter and easier on your checkbook, too. But is it still a tasty dish? I'm Chuck Giametta. Join me for a car preview video review of the 2017 Mazda 3. This front-wheel drive five-seater is Mazda's best-selling vehicle, and we're happy to report most buyers choose the more versatile hatchback body style over the sedan. That seems part of a trend. Compact car sales are down nearly 10%, but demand for small hatchbacks is up 9%. In fact, Honda has introduced a hatchback version of its 2017 Civic, and Chevy's adding one to the cruise lineup. They join a range of rivals, making things far more competitive in this interesting segment. As for the Mazda 3, it's always appealed for its driving dynamics, making its primary adversaries the Volkswagen Golf, Ford Focus, and now the Civic Hatchback. Styling has been a strong suit, too. It was last redesigned for model year 2014. This is its first significant change since, and Mazda's done nothing to jeopardize its standing as one of the best-looking cars in the class. A new grille helps it seem a little wider and lower. All models now have LED headlights. Hatchbacks get a reshaped rear fascia, and the 18-inch wheels on the volume-selling Touring and top-line Grand Touring have a new look. Mazda simplifies the lineup, too. It does away with I and S designations and makes the larger of the two available engines standard in Grand Touring models and optional for touring hatchbacks. The interior has always been a welcoming driving environment, and it's been spiffed up too. An electric button replaces the parking brake lever, door map pockets are usefully larger, metal tone plastic upgrades some trim, and all models get a new steering wheel with a tidier airbag housing and a more efficient button design. The Grand Touring is now available with a heated steering wheel, a first for the Mazda 3. The control layout remains orderly and easy to understand. Touring and Grand Touring models put the tachometer dead ahead, just like in real sports cars. All models have convenient keyless entry with push-button start, plus this nicely designed knob and button interface for the tablet-like display. Along with voice commands, it's your connection to software and smartphone apps. On Grand Touring models with the embedded navigation option, it displays GPS mapping. Grand Touring models continue with this plastic panel that can project vehicle speed and other data. You still can't retract it, but its graphics are crisper now and can include speed limit and other traffic signs. Mazda also addresses two shortfalls of the previous three. More sound deadening makes it quieter, and suspension tweaks help it absorb bumps with less jolting. Interior space is a little above average for the class, though taller folks might wish the rear cushion provided more thigh support. The sedan's trunk is smaller than that of most rivals, Hatchback cargo room is about average. The attraction here has always been how the Mazda 3 drives, and that still helps distinguish it in this class. For all-out acceleration, it can't compete with the hot rods of the segment, the Golf GTI and R, the Focus ST and RS, and the Subaru WRX and STI. And the comparison won't look any better once the 300 horsepower Civic Type R arrives. Sport and touring versions with the 2-liter engine are a little faster than entry-level models of most rivals, which tend to have less power but better fuel economy. Touring 2.5 and Grand Touring versions are usefully quicker, if not outright fast. 
They are quite entertaining with manual transmission, the choice of about 15% of Mazda 3 buyers. With automatic transmission, a sport mode function that recalibrates gear changes is now standard with both engines, not just the 2.5. Paddle shifters remain limited to the bigger engine and now are part of an option package rather than standard. Where any three shines is in handling. You get the balance and agility of a driver's car, and that's even before this year's edition of G-Vectoring Control. That's Mazda's name for a new standard feature that relaxes engine torque just enough to dip the nose as you begin a turn. That momentarily shifts weight to the front tires for more grip. It's a neat trick. All the driver notices is quickened response. Compact car shoppers will notice Mazda's worked some mojo on pricing and content, too. It's juggled standard and optional features to cut the base price of Grand Touring models by about $1,500. These top-line additions still come with leather upholstery, and the 2.5-liter engine is now standard. But Xenon headlamps have been dropped, and the previously standard navigation system is now part of a $1,600 premium package. In the most important change, the price of autonomous emergency braking has come down. This feature is crucial to earning top safety ratings because it can prevent a frontal collision by automatically bringing the car to a complete stop. It's now included in an $1,100 option for Grand Tourings, less than half the price of last year, and it's newly standard on all Touring models, which see their base prices increase less than $500. All this improves the 3, bringing it some of the refinement of the Golf without the flash of the overstyled Civic. There's still nothing here to match the segment's muscle cars, but Mazda's added a pinch of handling and a dash of polish and mixed it with a better value story. That should be appetizing to lots of compact car shoppers. For more on this and other cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to carpreview.com and please subscribe to our Car Preview YouTube channel.